All right, we're going to do a little activity now that involves the force probe and the wheel again. So this time I'm going to use uh, this little spring that has a 632 screw on the end. I'm just going to screw that in here. Okay. That allows us to measure how hard this thing is being pushed. So what I'm going to do, the activity will be to roll this into a fixed object, which will be my hand, and just watch it bounce back. Basically that. Okay, so let's turn on the wheel and the force probe. And here we're not so interested in the displacement. Let's smooth these a little bit to make them look nice right off the bat. And what I'm going to do is start recording. I'm going to zero the sensor so the force probe starts at zero. I'm just going to give this a push. Oop, that was kind of crooked. Maybe that was better. All right, so let's stop. And let's have a look at the second one of these. There we go. So right here, this is where we gave it a shove. It has a velocity in the negative direction. Uh, here's an acceleration at the same time that the force was exerted. This is the time that it was uh, running into my hand and bouncing off. So let's just look at that. We can look at the area under the force here and we see that it's equal to 0.13 newton seconds and we can just see how that compares to the change in velocity. Well down here we see that the velocity and I'm reading off the uh, the velocity that appears here in a second. Um, so it goes from about 0.39 meters per second in the negative direction up to about 0.3 meters per second in the positive direction. So the change in velocity is about 0.69. And so you can actually multiply the change in velocity by the mass, which is about 0.2 kilograms. And you'll see that you are going to get almost exactly the integral of the force here, which is around uh, 0.13. So in fact, you can verify F equals MA, or in this case, uh, the integral of F equals DP uh, DT, or F equals DP DT. So anyways, that's a fun little experiment, and it works.